Sarap. Ang sarap. Mm. What a noodle. Welcome back, back to, to Front Seat, seat Foodies! foodies. <laughs> super duper duper excited for this episode because for the first time ever, Front Seat Foodies will be having its first road trip! Yes, right, finally right. guys! Ang tagal na namin pinaplano na lumabas ng Metro Manila to feature some food places naman outside the metro. Yes. So ngayon, this is it. This is our first Kaka time. Kakaiyak guys kasi ang tagal naming hinintay ito. Like, oh, grabe talaga. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> okay, so before we go on a road trip, reminder guys to please do still follow the safety protocols para hindi tayo bumalik sa level mo, ano ulit? Level 3 and oh, 4. Oh, level 3 and 4. <laughs> okay na to guys. Okay na to na medyo nakakalabas na tayo. Yeah. Wala nang face shields. Nakakapag-live na tayo ng lives natin yeah. right now. So, please do make sure to follow the safety protocols. Be safe at all times. It's your responsibility to be safe, guys. Mm -hmm. Kaya, alcohol pa rin tayo, mask pa rin at all times. Yeah, so Remember before that. you uh, go to your destination, make sure lang, guys, that you understand the protocols of the destination you're going to. The Kasi, LGU. yeah, iba-iba yan eh. Yeah, so yung pupuntahan namin today, hindi naman kailangan ng PCR. Uh -huh. Pero in most restaurants, pag magda-dine-in ka, kailangan ng vaccination yes. card. So, kami dalawa were vaccinated. So, make sure na lang guys na we strictly follow uh -huh. the protocols. And also, for everybody out there na hindi pa vaccinated, please, please, please do get your vaccines. Yeah. By the way guys, we are using this all-new Ford Territory. Which we are super, super excited na to use. Talagang ang pinili namin location for this car is out of town para talaga ma feel mag namin, mag test namin, namin talaga. Because this is a car that actually caught our attention when oh. it first came out. So we've heard a lot of reviews from our friends and even on the internet. And you know, when, when Ford told us na pwede namin gamitin to for our road trip, sobrang na excite kami. Yeah. And we can't wait to tell you guys what we think. Okay. All right, guys. I guess it's time. All right, guys. So far, so I good. am impressed with this Ford territory. I love it. Mm -hmm. I know you're very particular with how a car looks, how yeah. it feels. <laughs> and how comfortable it is. Yeah, so what okay. do you think about uh, the comfort of the car? So let's talk about the exterior first of the car. I love how elegant it is alone. Ano siya? Eye-catcher siya. Mm -hmm. Pansinin siya sa, sa kali. From afar pa lang, you can actually see how elegant the car is. Ang Gan lakas nung dating. Ang yeah. yeah, lakas nung dating nung exterior. Oh. And very, very sporty. Just, just a car that uh, really invites you to drive it. Now let's talk about the interior. What I also like about this car is this one. So you don't just get a sunroof, guys. It's a moon You roof. get a full moon roof. I'm not, ayan, you can see. Hanggang likod siya, Hanggang guys. Likod. Ayan. Beautiful. Love. And a moon roof really isn't that common talaga. The entertainment uh, system that we have here is actually really driver friendly din at mm -hmm. ang dali gamitin kasi ang laki niya it's a 10 inch infotainment system and it also has all of the connectivity features that you look for in an infotainment system it has apple carplay and android auto and it also has a wireless charging for me talaga those features are such a breeze and sobrang asin pinapadali niya yung buhay talaga. and by the way this car is keyless amazing push start button na lang siya. Hindi lang siya push start button, it's also keyless entry. Lalagay mo lang yung susi sa basa, bulsa mo. Basta nasa iyo yung yeah. key, you can open the You can open na the vehicle car. kasi may pindutan siya sa handle. Pindutin mo lang yun, bubukas na yung mm -hmm. Then, ganun din pag lock. Alright guys, so we're here na sa SLEX. 
And uh, I guess it's the perfect time to talk about the performance of the Ford Territory. Saktong sakto, because I was just gonna talk about its sensors. I don't know. But that is the lane departure assist yes. that this car has. So, kaya siya nagbibip is because sinasabi niya or sinasabi niya sa'yo that you're drifting na sa lane. lane. So that feature is included in what Ford calls their Ford Co-Pilot 360. So yun yung entire system nila built to help the driver. It was made to assist the driver and to make the driving experience you know, more safe, more efficient, and just overall easier. Yeah. Included in the Ford Co-Pilot 360, kaya siya 360 because meron siyang 360 camera. Yes, yeah. that is so amazing. It turns on whenever you need it. Kapag nagpa-park ka, makikita mo na yung buong kotse mo. And then, speaking of um, parking, it also has an active park assist. Guys, magpa-park siya mag-isa yeah. sa inyo. And then, naman yung lane departure. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry na, territory. It's very nice to have this feature, especially in long drives. It has adaptive cruise control. Kasi for some cars, it has cruise control only na hindi adaptive. Kung ano lang yung speed na sinet mo, yun na siya. Kahit na bumagal pa yung nasa mm. harapan mo or kahit bumilis pa siya. And then of course, lastly, it also has the blind spot information system. Very, very nice feature to have, especially sa urban driving. Kapag ka yung nasa mga maliliit ka na mga eskinita, yung mga areas na maraming tumatawid, yeah. maraming mga obstacles. obstacles. <laughs> yung blind spot information system lets you know kapag meron ng malapit Tutunog sa siya. Tutunog siya. And guys, this Ford Territory is driven by its powerful 1.5 liter EcoBoost engine which for me, really packs a punch. Ito, pagka inapakan ko yung gas ng konti, Power. All right, guys, if you are interested in owning a Ford Territory, you can check it out right now because they have an available product promotion, which is a free three year scheduled service plan for every Territory purchase. We will put the link here in the description box. And also, you can get the code through their website, which we will be also placing in the description box. Paakit na kami ng Tagaytay, may, may konting traffic lang, mm -hmm. so may konting delays. But all good, medyo gutom na kaming dalawa. Yeah. <laughs> and we're switching things up a bit on this episode because we're not gonna only eat in one place. We are gonna have three stops. Three total. stops here in Tagaytay. Yes, syempre, road trip tayo. Susulitin so, na natin. Susulitin na natin. So our first stop will be... Tagaytay Lomi House. So, ito yung famous Lomi House na pinupuntahan ng mga riders. Mm -hmm. Sa intriga kami because their Lomi is so filled. Parang yung Batangas Lomi. Yeah. But it's here in Tagaytay. Mas famous talaga ang Lomi sa Batangas. Mm -hmm. Pero may mga ibang mga nagbukas dito sa Tagaytay na sinaserve din yung classic and authentic Batangas Lomi. Yep. Nasikat nasikat dito sa south. It's a good start. No road trip is uh, complete sa south without trying out Lomi. Lomi. All right, so pagay tayo Lomi House. Here we go. Yeah. All right, guys. So uh, we made it here sa pagay tayo Lomi House. Pero uh, medyo wala kasi parking kasi main road siya. So chaka traffic. Yeah, tsaka traffic. So, pumasok kami sa isang iskinita lang muna. Baba ako to get the food. Tapos, I'll go back. Alright, let's go! Alright guys, so, nanggaling na ako dun sa uh, Tagaytay Lomi House. At medyo madaming tao, ha? pero it's a Friday, so... Medyo madaming tao, madaming uh, dumayo para itry ang kanilang special overload Batangas Lomi which I have two orders of here. And guys, kita niyo naman, meron kami yung bagong presentation tray. Oh, disinfect, disinfect. Dala namin yung Tupperware. Uh, I think takeout lang nila kasi plastic. 
So kung gusto nyo i-take out dun sa Tagaytay Lomi House, dalaki yung Tupperware. Ito, two orders to guys, 160 pesos lang. May chicharon toppings siya, which comes separate. Hey! One, two, three, Ooh. Oh my gosh. Ang dami nangyayari. That's a lot! Damn! Okay, before we start eating, ilagay natin ang chicharon ni Feli. Aling Feli! <laughs> Never pa ako nakakaubos ng lomi sa mga buhay ko. Same. Parang laging ang dami-dami-dami. Laging dami. overloaded. Yeah. I'll give credit first to Kali for finding this beautiful table for front seafoodies. <laughs> diba? Bagay na bagay siya dito. Oo, oh, it's attached sa cup holder. Yeah. This is an, a really, really overloaded type of lomi. As in, sobrang dami niyang laman. Masyadong madami nga. May, may lumpia. Itlog. May itlog. May shomai. May shomai. Chicharon. Uh, Chaka, noodles. noodles. Squid bowl? Fish bowl? Parang ganun naman. Parang ganun. Alright, let's try. The ano muna? Soup first. Soup. Okay. Oh, meron ng noodles na kasama. Inat. Damn, oh, the yung sarap. flavor. Yeah. Mm. Sarap, ha? Sa mga na-try kong lomi dati, minsan masyado siyang matapang, masyado maalat. This Ito, is just right. Just right, no? Yung, yung garlic, lasan-lasa yung garlic. Yeah. Saktong-sakto lang yung saltiness niya. Pati yung pepper niya, sakto. Sakto lang I dyan, love no? na natitikman natin yung pepper, yung salt, pero hindi intimidating. Way. Hindi siya nakakaumay. At sulit na sulit siya para sa 80 pesos. Mmm, not no lumpia. Lumpia talaga, any time of the day, anywhere, lumpia is always a good idea. Kahit hindi birthday party. Yeah, kahit hindi birthday party. <laughs> shomai, guys. Ito yung mga 2 pesos na shomai, eh. Mmm. Mmm. Parang siyang ano, sweet shomai siya. Ako parang sausage yung laman, parang chorizo. I'll try it with the chicharron. Mmm. Chicharron. Mm. Guys, sobrang sulit nito. Ganyan. I tasted a bunch of lomis before and totoo yung nakaupay siya. Mm -hmm. No, this one hindi. This one. Ganda ng balance nung oh. lomi nila. Meron din siyang uh, pork tsaka atay. Mm, atay. Ay, ako hindi ako kumakain ng atay. Yung pork fat, ang sarap. And ako gusto ko yung shomai niya tsaka yung lumpia. Damn! Solid. Solid. Must try. Solid na first stop. Nakakahaping first stop for 80 pesos. Nakakahaping first stop, yeah. Dito sa Tagaytay. Very, very authentic Batangas style lomi. Na overloaded. Na hindi nakakaumay. Yeah. Alright. We recommend. Tagaytay Lomi House. Up next, where are we headed to? Our second stop, hindi nalalayo sa kinakain namin ngayon. Sabaw din siya. Pero, this time, we're gonna try out Japan's pride and mm. honor na noodle soup dish. Which is? Ramen! ramen. We're going to this hole-in-a-wall restaurant dito sa uh -huh. Tagaytay. Actually, medyo bandang Alfonso Cavite uh -oh. na siya. And nakita namin yung photos na to sa isa sa mga boss namin yeah. sa GMA. Kay Miss Lilibet Resonable. Hello, Miss Lilibet! Anyway, nakita namin siya sa Instagram niya. And na-intrigue kami kasi it looks so nice. Mm -hmm. It's like this cute little garden with a Japanese house. Na parang restaurant pero mukha siyang house. Mukha siyang restaurant sa ano, Kyoto, sa Japan. Oh, oh, parang, parang ganun, ganun yung vibe niya. So, that's where we're headed now. It's relatively new. Hindi pa siya gaano kaalam ng tao. Oo, oh, oo. Oh, oh. So, hole in the wall talaga siya as of now. Pero we heard na ang sarap daw ng ramen. As in, authentic, authentic. Japanese ramen daw talaga. And it's called... Surugin, Surugin ramen, ramen House. House. Let's go! What's your best memory in Tagaytay? I mean, for the both of us, it's always been our... Parang go-to place to, mm -hmm. di ba, to take a breather. And kasi ang lapit lang din sa Manila. Yeah. Kami dalawa, we always go here at kahit for ano nga lang eh. For no reason. For no reason or for like, uh, wala gusto lang natin mag-kape or 
oh, mag-dinner, kumain. One of the best moments here in Tagay Tay with you was my birthday 2018. Yun yung nag-nurture wellness. Ah, uh, nurture wellness. Pero, speaking of the film series, I also like that moment. So, when you were starting to go out, when we started dating, one of the first few labas namin was in Tagay Tay na umuwi yung mga relatives mo from the States and parang nagyagyaya silang kumain sa balay dako. Mm -hmm. And then, that time, we were still new. Kaming dalawa. So, si Kali would often carry his film cam and take photos of me and the both of us. So, yun, yung first film series namin, dito siya sa Tagaytay naganap. Yeah. Na, na and also, after that, after nung kumain kami sa Balay Dako, we went to Bag of Beans and stayed there for like four hours. Just talking. Just talking and talking and getting to know each other. Yung getting to know stage, yun. Parang it played a big, 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 big role. Yung Tagaytay, no? Sa getting yeah. to know stage natin. Aww. Dami naming moments sa Tagaytay, honestly. Yeah. Daming memories here. And now we're gonna make new ones. The bond yeah. that memory. We're 20 minutes away to our second stop. Alright. See you there. Alright guys, we made it here sa Surugin. Surugin? Surugin or Suru... We'll find out later yeah, how it's basta, pronounced. We're now here in Surugin Ramen House. Dito Yay! sa Alfonso Cavite. So it's a... Uh, hole from, in the wall talaga. Hole in the wall talaga. As in, wala siyang mga katabing restaurants. Medyo liblib siya. Wala siya sa hilera ng maraming restaurants yes, which, talaga. Yes, which I super love because ito yung mga hidden gems yeah, usually. It is a hidden gem. Yeah, yeah. and hindi sila masyadang promote and all that. Diba? But yeah. people still go here. Yeah, so, so the alam food mong, must be really yeah, good. Alam mong the food is really good. Again, this episode is a special episode because we are going down to eat the ramen. The ramen here exactly. in Surabin Ramen House. And also because they don't accept takeouts. For ramen. Hindi kasi ramen. take out ang ramen. And that's yeah. why we haven't had the ramen episode. Because we've always wanted to feature a ramen episode. Kaso dati hindi pa nga pwede dahil Mag -dine sa, in. sa restrictions. But now, game na. Game. Let's do Coming it! For ramen. Let's go! Alright guys, we're here na sa Surugin. We are seated down. Uh, guys, ang ganda dito. Ang ganda ng place. Yeah, no joke. The the ambience, the whole place. The vibe, it, it's, like a, tao. it's like a big zen garden. Yeah. I and can see the inspiration talaga ng Japanese. From, yeah, and you design. get to, like us, we are here in like a small kubo. Na may konting Filipino. May makikita kang Filipino ano, twist kasi oh. may mga kubo. But overall, you, it's really, it's yeah. so quiet, it's so serene, yeah. it's so peaceful. Ganda, and yun nga, as we said earlier, it's pretty much liblib, so wala kaming katabing, walang katabing establishment, so it's yeah. really quiet. Alright guys, so um, here are our orders. We ordered uh, three of their most um, popular ramens here. We have their gyoza here, for starters. Then, okay, this one is really, it looks really spicy. It's yeah. super red. This is their surai ramen. This is their spicy miso based and ramen. And they said it's the best seller. It's their best seller though. Uh -huh. And then in the middle is their curry ramen. Which is amoy na amoy ko siya. Yeah. And then we this have is the shoyu based. The shoyu based usukuchi ramen yung tawag nila. Mm -hmm. Yung shoyu based na hindi spicy. Chopsticks, spoon. Let's start with the gyoza. Medyo hindi kami masyadong makapag-ingay, guys, kasi ang tahimik na. Yeah. So, nakakahiya naman kung mag-iingay ka. So, hindi kami high energy ngayon kasi yeah. garden talaga siya, guys. And perfect siya for a quick getaway, no? Yeah. Ang ganda. Alam mo, kung kunyari hindi kayo nag-shoot ng front seat foodies ngayon, pupuntahan natin. Pupuntahan pa rin natin to. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Good gyoza. That's good. That's a good gyoza, guys. For me, when you eat ramen, it's always a good starter. Para hindi sobrang intimidating agad yung lasa. Perfect appetizer siya. They also have rice meals dito, guys. Sa mga hindi mahilig sa noodles. 
may mga available na rice meals. But yeah. we didn't offer rice meals kasi... Ramen house yan Ramen house siya. So most probably, ito talaga ang china-champion nila na dish. Mm -hmm. We'll do the spicy one first. Take a sip of that. Wait lang. Can I shoot you? That is so good. It is spicy. Super. It might be a bit like really spicy for you. Okay, okay. That's a dulo, no? Yeah. Kaya, kaya, kaya. <laughs> so it is spicy, no? It is spicy, but kasi. Parang I feel like the. <laughs> yeah. I feel like the the creaminess of the ramen balances it also. It's creamy and nutty, no? It's creamy, nutty. Parang may coconut. Yeah. Na, yeah parang, parang, nut. parang nuts. Peanut. Oh. Peanut talaga. Ang daming noodles, ah. Wow. <laughs> Bag matuhay na ito. Ba, si? You don't do that. That's not Sorry. proper ramen etiquette. I know, I know. And what I usually do, nag-order pa ako ng extra noodles. Dito hindi na kailangan. Dito hindi na Sobra dami. So, may, sobrang daming noodles. My game. One, two. Sarap. Ah, sarap. Mm, what a noodle. Have some of that shashu. I'll taste the shashu. Mm, sarap, Bob. There's a perfectly cooked tamago. Egg. Egg. <clears throat> ang hang, man. Let's now try this ramen. Let's show you this. Light. It's so light. Shoyu is lighter talaga than miso. Good. Wow. Sarap. Boy, ibang iba siya. Oh, oh. Ang sarap. Light. Very light. Okay, let's sarap try the noodles. Surprisingly, so mas, siguro mas ano, surprisingly I'm, more lean, I'm leaning towards more the spicy one. Wow, that's so unusual, babe. So, ang ganda dito, guys. Kasi parang, as in, parang may, may maliit na farm. So, the rest? Na, may mga ang dami rin na inalaga na aso. Mm. Yeah. So, it feels like you're dining. Dito rin yung quarters parang nila. Parang so, may parang maliit na sari-sari store. Yung sa gilid. Mm. Masasa mo yung fatty dito. Good also. It's good ramen. But what do you like better? For me, sa dalawa so far, I like the... Ako din. Surai better. But this is good, good also, ha? Panalo dito, yes? Yeah? Panalo to. Hidden gem. Ang ganda pa ano, location. Hidden gem. Okay, let's now, let's now try the curry. Curry. Okay, let's move on to the final main event. Ano may isa mga mall? Yung mga... Yung display? Display? Hindi, mamimili ko kung ano oh, doon. Parang yung, umuha siyang ganun. Yung presentation niya, parang ganun siya. Grabe ang ganda, ganda. tingnan. Parang ayaw mo siyang sirain. Galawin. Pero gagalawin natin. <laughs> So, parang rich niya, oh, no? I'm expecting ito very Explosion of flavor. Oh, very matapang. One, two, three. Mm. Japanese Damn. curry. Damn. Japanese curry, man. And I love Japanese curry compared to, ano, yung traditional curry. Let's okay, let's Indian try curry. first. It's do crispy, hear, yeah? Do you hear that, guys? <laughs> that Cheers. Mm. Juicy. Sarap. Sarap. Have some of this. Okay, okay. Wow. Hoy, this is good. Sarap. Sarap nito. Sarap ng curry ramen, guys. Panalo. I think out of the three, my number one is still the spicy. This is number two. Number three is the shoyu. Yes. Yeah. A close number two. Itong, yeah. Itong curry ramen. Sarap, ah. Super good. Alam nyo ba, guys? Ito. This message is for my mom in particular. Hi, tita. Kasi lagi siyang nagagalit pagka sinuslurp ko yung uh, ramen tsaka mga sabaw. Alam nyo ba, sa Japan, if you do that, it's a sign of respect. Parang sign siya na nasasarapan ka sa food nila. Ito yung parang fast food nila. One of their yung mga Sarap fast food. naman ang fast food. Yeah. Ngayon, hindi nga talaga. Kasi di ba pupunta ka sa ramen, kain alis. Oo. Uh -oh. So, ganun si Japan ang ramen. And usually, it's served really hot. So, yung pag-slurp mo, you're introducing air into your para mouth para lumamig siya while you're eating yeah. it. Ang sarap ng cutlet din. Sarap ng cutlet. Naubos na nga ni Kalil eh. Hindi ah. Nakaagdalawa pa lang ako. <laughs> Panalo dito guys. Panalo. Go here. Baby, can I have the ano, uh, spicy? Oh, di ba? Nag-mix-mix na yung nasa chan namin. Wow, for the first time. Baby, can I have the spicy? <laughs> 
You were trained well. Are you proud? Well. Yeah. Are you proud of me? I trained you well. It's good, ah. Pero masarap nga siya. I like Ang sarap nung ano, netong surai. Sarap ng timpla kasi. Kasi the Japanese curry is really good. Hindi din siya gano'ng ka-spicy. Ibang curry kasi mas tumatang. Ito, medyo sweet kasi yung Japanese curry. So good, guys. So good. Ang sarap yung noodles din nila, eh. Ang ganang quality. Hmm. Two thumbs, Two thumbs up. up. Four thumbs up. This whole place is such a nice place to go to day trip lang, punta kayo dito to relax, we can also, to eat. If you see the B-roll earlier, ang ganda-ganda ng place talaga. Yeah. It's a definite it's must a, go to you place have, talaga. You have to go here. Yeah. And this is not even a paid ad. I mean, it's just really, we went here for the sake of we're so curious about it. Yeah, we were just so curious because we've been hearing stuff about it. Oh, but actually, I was afraid to go later on or underwhelming yung place. Uh -huh. But you know what, when we went here, entrance pa lang guys, parang kami, it's like Zen you're garden. entering. It's like you're entering a different world. Yeah, Zen Garden. Siya. Para siya Zen Garden. It's it's very obvious that it was inspired by Zen Gardens in Japan. Yeah, ganda. I love it. Four thumbs up for and the And not only the ambiance, the food is excellent. Excellent food. Excellent quality. Hindi tini pa dami noodles. And good daming. service too. And good service. Really kind people as well. So that's it, guys, for our second stop. Now we're going to our third stop. So we'll see you there. Time for dessert. <laughs> Alright guys, now we're off to our third and final stop. Siyempre guys, this uh, trip won't be complete without dessert and pasalubo. Yes, and siyempre, pupuntahan natin yung favorite ni Khalil. <laughs> Every time siguro one of us is in Tagaytay, kahit ako, kailangan ko mag-stop sa balay dako to get his favorite. Piyaya. Cooked fresh. Cooked we'll fresh in front of you. Yeah. So we're headed there for our third and final stop. Kasi, yun din ang pasalubong namin. Yep. Piyaya. So, Piyaya. Let's go, let's go. Balay dako. Alrighty, guys. We are here in our third and final stop. Mm -hmm. Dinabi na kami. It's 6pm na. Pa-dinner time na. Pero, Pero kami, kami pa-dessert pa. <laughs> pa-dessert pa, pa kasi busog na busog pa kami kanina. Sa dalawa naming kinain. Yep. For first and second stop. So for our third stop, we're having dessert. For us, guys, this is a must. Every time we go to Tagaytay, hindi kami bababa ng walang... Piyaya! Piyaya! From Balay Dako. So specifically, from Balay Dako, yung pinakagusto ko because it's really freshly cooked. As in, oo. Oh, 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 ang okay. init pa. Yeah. Shout out. So sa likod, ang dami naming binili pang pasalubong. So isa na lang yung bubuksan namin today. But we also have... Hot chocolate! Hot chocolate or uh, sa, sa Batangas, yung tableya chocolate ito. Okay, let's try this first. Oh my God! Batangas. Wow, ang bango! So, puro. Purong chocolate ito, guys. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Boom. Grabe, para kang niyakap. Oh, wow. Chocolate. Napaka-comforting. It's so comforting. Tsaka, guys, masa ba ka nagtatanong? Malamig na sa tagita, yun? Know? Yeah, malamig na ngayon. Mm. Tsaka talagang ano siya. Yung tinunaw talaga na tagaya. Oh, oh. May buo-buo pa nga, eh. Ah, sarap! Piyaya time. Mm. Okay. One, two, three. Mm, the best talaga. Ito ka consistent, no? Hmm. Hmm. In it. <laughs> Bakit veray da kong piyaya yung gusto mo? Ayun ko. Kasi yung ibang piyaya na hindi freshly cooked, yung nagiging flaky na siya masyado. Oh. Parang, tas usually ang kapal, di ba? Mm. Medyo makapal siya. Tapos parang ang flaky niya, parang, ito kasi ang nipes. Tsaka, freshly cooked niya. Iba talaga pa yung freshly cooked. Pero, pero okay lang siya na i-gawing pa sa lubong kasi you just have to heat it sa oven, Ganyan sa toaster. Yun. Ganun pa rin siya. Kaya ako favorite ko talaga from balay ko na piyaya. Mm. Sapul. Sugar on sugar. Mm. Happiness. Happiness. Mm. The best. 10 out of 10. The best way to cap off this very special episode. Yeah. Alrighty guys, that's pretty much it for this episode, our very uh -huh. first road trip episode. Yep. More to come, guys, because and dami pa namin gustong puntahan outside Metro Manila. 
Yes, um, thank you so much for watching, guys. If you like this episode, please share it to your friends and to your families. Um, hit the like button, click subscribe. We're almost 100k subscribers. Yeah, almost. Or maybe yeah. we don't know. Pa kapag influence nito 100 k na. Hopefully. So let's see. But thank you so much, guys, for subscribing. Here's the front seat foodies. And if you like to be updated, hit the notification bell. See you guys on the next one. See you.